We're going to do our question about the tortoise and the hare, which is up here. The hare is going at 1.2 kilometers per minute, and the tortoise is going at 0 0.01 kilometers per minute in a 5k race. The tortoise has an eight hour head start. Will the hare pass the tortoise? And how many minutes faster will the winner pass the finish line compared to the loser? So the first thing I need to do is to check whether I think this is a linear or inverse situation. And this is one of those situations where I'm looking at the slope. Kilometers per minute is one of those units of measure, which is like two units of measure combined. Kilometers, then a slash, and then minutes. That sounds like the unit of measure of a slope. So that indicates to me this might be linear. And I'm going to try to answer the question, assuming that it's linear. Therefore, we have been given the equation for the hair of y equals 1.2x. Well, this only makes sense if we define our variables, so we're going to define the variables. x equals the number of minutes, and y equals the number of kilometers covered. This is a positive slope, the 1.2. So as the minutes go by, the hair has covered more distance. It makes sense that we would have a positive slope. I also need uh, an equation for the tortoise. And it's obvious from the information given that I expect it to be y equals 0.01x using the same variables. But the tortoise has an eight-hour head start. What do I do with that? It sounds like a y-intercept, but it's not what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug eight hours as a number of minutes into this equation and see how many kilometers the tortoise has covered after eight hours. But the first step is eight hours times 60 minutes in an hour gives me 480 minutes. I don't want to plug eight into this equation because eight is the number of hours and X is the number of minutes. Now I've converted it into minutes. I can write Y equals 0 0.01 times 480. And I get 4.8 kilometers. So the tortoise has actually covered 4.8 kilometers before the hare even starts. Now let's work with the hare some more. The hare has to cover five kilometers. So I'm going to put y equals five into that equation. I have five equals 1.2x. I divide both sides by 1.2. These cancel, x is equal to 4.17. And x is the number of minutes. The hare is taking 4.17 minutes to cross the finish line. The hare is fast. Now, how long is the tortoise taking to cross the finish line? Remember, the tortoise had an eight hour head start and that's all finished. The tortoise is at the 4.8 kilometer mark in the race when the hare starts. So the tortoise only has 0.2 kilometers left. I'm going to plug that into the same equation. 0 0.2 equals 0.01x, we divide both sides by 0.01, these cancel, x is equal to 20. It's taking the tortoise 20 minutes to cross the finish line. After the hare started, it took the hare 4.17 minutes. I have to write my unit of measure. I'll just put an m for minutes. Okay, so that means that the hare passed the tortoise. I have an answer to the first part of the question. Yes, hare passes tortoise. Why? Because 4.17 minutes is less than 20 minutes. So I can justify that with my numbers. But the second part of the question was how many minutes faster was the winner than the loser. To get that, we have to take the 20 minutes and subtract the 4.17 minutes, and we get 
15.83 minutes. So now I've answered part two of the question. I did all of that using equations where I have a positive slope. This question can also be done where we use equations with a negative slope. And the way to do that is to change the way we define our variables. So that's what I'm going to do next. We have our tortoise and the hare race question. That's right up here. The hare is traveling 1.2 kilometers per minute and the tortoise is traveling at 0.01 kilometers per minute. They're running a 5k race and the tortoise has an eight hour head start. I'm proceeding to use straight lines math to solve this because I see the kilometers per minute unit. When I have a unit slash unit as a unit, that tells me that sounds like a slope and it sounds like a straight line situation. I'm going to proceed in that way. First, I'm defining my variables. X equals number of minutes. Y equals number of kilometers left. The trick with defining the variables this way is to realize that as the minutes go by, you have less kilometers left. So that indicates a negative slope. So the Hare's equation will be y equals negative 1.2x. And the tortoise's equation will be y equals negative 0.01x. But these equations don't have y-intercepts yet. And I have to have a y-intercept, which is going to be plus 5 in both cases, because at the beginning, they have five kilometers left that they have to run. So that's an initial value, which is often going to be synonymous with a y-intercept. So here are my equations. I'm going to plug a value into the Hare's equation. When the number of kilometers left is zero, how many minutes have gone by? Moving the negative 1.2x across the equals, I have 1.2x equals 5. I'm going to divide both sides by 1.2, and I'm get, getting x equals 4.17 minutes. So the hare needs 4.17 minutes to finish the race, to have zero kilometers left. Let's do the same thing with the tortoise. I'll move the negative 0.01x to the other side where it becomes positive. I divide both sides by 0.01. These cancel. I should show that these cancel. X is equal to 500. It takes the tortoise 500 minutes to run the race. Or it would take 500 minutes but he has an eight hour head start. We have to calculate that. Eight hours times 60 minutes in an hour is equal to 480 minutes. So that means that the tortoise runs for 480 minutes before the hare starts and then 20 minutes later, the tortoise crosses the finish line, but the hare crossed it after only 4.17 minutes. So since 20 is greater than 4.17, that means the hare does pass the tortoise. So we've answered the first part of the question. Now the second part of the question is how many minutes faster does the winner cross the finish line compared to the loser? And to get that we do 20 minus 4.17 is 15.83 minutes. And we've answered the second part of the question. This question was answered using equations with a negative slope. And that happened because of the way we defined our variables. 
we defined the y as the number of kilometers left. If we want to do this with the positive slope in the equations, we have to define y as the number of kilometers covered. So that means that a student could do this question with the negative slopes and get all the way to the correct answer, and the next student could do the whole question with positive slopes and also get all the way to the right answer, and they both could get full marks on the question. Okay, now let's look at our tortoise and hare questions, but showing them on a graph. Well, showing them on several graphs. Here we're going to have graph for the hare and graph for the tortoise, but that's with a slope greater than zero, a positive slope. And down here we're going to have a graph for the hare and a graph for the tortoise, but a is less than zero, it's a negative slope. With the positive slopes, we defined our y-axis as the number of kilometers covered. So as time goes by, more kilometers have been covered, so the line will tilt upwards. The hare starts at zero, because at zero time, he has not covered any of the kilometers yet, and eventually he gets to five kilometers, y is the number of kilometers covered, and he's at the finish line when he gets to that point. This is going to happen after 4.17 minutes, so I have to scale my x-axis like this for it to make sense. Now we do the same thing with the tortoise. It's going to look the same because the tortoise also starts with zero kilometers at time zero and has to get to the finish line but it takes the tortoise 500 minutes to do that. So I have to scale my axes very different. And now it makes sense for the tortoise. The graph actually looks the same. The trick is, of course, trying to show them both on the same graph at the same time. That would be tricky. When the slopes are negative, it's not very different, but they have to start with five kilometers left to cover, and then they have to get to zero. And of course, it takes the hare 4.17 minutes to do that, so I'm scaling the axes very similarly. For the tortoise, it's the same but I have to scale the axes so that 500 minutes fits. And I'm scaling them the same way I did up here. What this shows us is that we can visualize this problem in two different ways depending on how we define our y variable. If it's kilometers covered, that means we will have a positive slope in the straight line equation and our line will look like this. It looks the same for the hare and the tortoise, but the x-axis has to be scaled differently in order to fit because the numbers are so different. If you have y defined as the number of kilometers left, then you have to do it like this. That means that your slope is negative and you end up with this type of line where the zero gives us the answer to the question. Okay, now I'm going to try to draw the graph of the tortoise and the hare, but putting them together on the same graph. So to do that, you have to create the equations differently so that both of the coordinates, the X and the Y, are defined in the same way for both animals. So the equation for the tortoise ends up being y equals 0.01x, simple one to create, but the equation for the hair is y equals 1.2x minus 480. This can make it work. So we have to define our variables, of course. x is the number of minutes and 
y equals the number of kilometers covered. Now to graph it, the problem is the scaling of the x-axis. I'm going to draw my y-axis. And that's going to be kilometers covered. I'll just write kilometers on here. And I'm going to draw the x-axis quite long. And that is time in minutes. I'll show 5k on the y-axis. What happens is the tortoise starts from time zero and eventually gets to this 5k level. And we already know that takes 500 minutes. The hare has a zero of 480. So starts way over here. So this is 500. The hare starts at 480. And has an x of 484.17 and of course a y of 5 when he crosses the finish line. Okay, I screwed up the first time I tried to draw the line, so I'm trying again. It looks more like this. So therefore the tortoise's finish is shown here and the hare's finish is shown there. Now there's also the point of intersection and the question can ask for that and if the question asks after how many minutes for instance did the hare pass the tortoise on the way to the finish line you would have to do comparison to answer that correctly with algebra trying to answer it with the graph is a little bit awkward as you can see it's hard to even draw it. So I'm going to show the comparison here. 0.01x equals 1.2 times x minus 480. This is 1.2x minus 576. Doing a bit of algebra, 576 equals 1.2x minus 0.01x, which is 1.19x. And then we divide both sides by 1.19. These cancel and x is equal to 484.0336. Not the same number as the 484.17, but awfully close. It means from the time that the hair starts, it takes the hair four minutes and 0 0.0336, 4.0336 minutes to pass the tortoise, and then another 0.16 or so minutes to actually hit the finish line. And that's very hard to show graphically, and it's because our zeros are stretched so far apart in this situation, because the tortoise is so much slower than the hare. Another thing I can do is I can do a, an expansion of this part of the graph. And it'll look something like this. Hmm. That's not very good. Let's make this one a little lower. Because, of course, both of these things are happening when y is equal to 5. So they're equal in height above the x-axis. So we have 484.17, 
comma five for the hair's finish right here, and we have 500 comma five for the tortoise's finish over there, and here's the point of intersection, which happens when x is equal to 484.0336, and the y, if we plug this into one of the original equations, we get a y of 4.840336. That's going to be the y coordinate of this point, which I can't show even in my expanded view of the graph. So this is actually quite complicated to do, but of course, if you have watched the entire sequence of video about the tortoise and the hare, you understand that this is just one of the ways to successfully solve this problem. And we can avoid this situation if we want, simply by calculating the tortoise's head start separately. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.